So a young woman enters a seemingly normal forest, but it's once she's inside that it turns into an inescapable hell. Hey what's up guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to look at the movie The Watchers, which the trailer came out a few weeks ago, I saw it, and it was very very mysterious. The trailer doesn't give us a lot of information. And that got me very intrigued and I simply had to find out more. So it turns out that the story is based off of a book called The Watchers written by A.M. Shine. And that means that we already know what this movie will be about. Now don't worry, this video won't go into super detailed spoilers, I'm just revealing a little bit more information but I won't reveal the ending or anything like that. Here we go all the way to Ireland and we follow Mina. To get a little bit of extra money, she does this seemingly easy task of delivering a parrot. We see that in the trailer, you know, she has the cage with the bird inside. She has to drive this thing a long way and at one point she has to cross a forest. It's just part of the trip. However, once she's inside, her car breaks down, her phone stops working, and it seems like she's all alone. Eventually, she starts venturing into the forest, and it's here that she meets a different group of people. Madeline, Daniel, and Kiara. They're all stuck in this forest and can't get out. Now, these are all very different people. They have very different personalities, but there is something that they all have in common. This kind of makes you wonder if that's intentional or just a giant coincidence. Now, at night, you have these mysterious predators that come out to hunt. But there is one safe space in this forest, a giant concrete building with a large glass wall. Now, already, this reminds me of movies like The Ritual and The Village. The Village, I think, is kind of interesting because that one's also done by M. Night Shyamalan. So it seems like this movie might be the version of the village that we all wanted but never got. The ritual, of course, has a similar setup. You know, you have that forest that seems very straightforward when looking at it at first, but it's once these guys go inside that it starts getting this supernatural aspect and no matter where they go, these guys just can't escape. Now, out of the people in the coop, Madeline is the one in charge. She's very dominant. And this movie will look in detail at how humans behave. And that aspect, I think, will be very similar to The Mist, which, you know, there you had the creepy creatures, but it was a lot more about you know, the people in the store and how they behaved. And even though there was a much larger threat outside, you had people practically going to war because of their different beliefs. Now, Daniel is going to be kind of a wimpy, sort of like the loser of the group, and Kiara is going to be a little bit more of a pushover. But it's when Mina arrives that the dynamic of this group starts to get challenged a little bit. It's not that she's super dominant or anything like that, but she's a lot more involved than the other two. Of course, the goal of these four people is to escape the forest. Now, with this story set up, there are a lot of unanswered questions. What is going on with the forest? Is it actually stretching or are people just getting lost? What are the creatures? Are they extraterrestrial or from another dimension? And of course, who built the coop? You know, if you're lost in the forest, you're not going to be concerned with like pouring concrete and crafting glass. So who put this thing here? Now, Mina and the others will come up with a lot of different theories. You know, is this a giant government conspiracy? Is someone testing them? Or is all of this a giant hallucination? And from what I understand, the twist is not going to be very simple. It's not just going to be like, oh, it's all in their heads or anything like that. Of course, at some point, the movie will need to deliver some answers, and that's where I believe this character will come in. Now, I'm not entirely sure who he is, but eventually our guys find a videotape, a VHS, which they start playing, and that's what I believe they're watching in here. Now, one thing that I'm wondering is if there will be some suspenseful hunting scenes in the woods at night. If that's done, and if that's done correctly, that can be extremely effective. Now, one thing that I saw over and over again in the reviews of the book is that a lot of people praise the author's ability to create a sense of unease. And I will say the trailer does that very much as well. Through the editing, it doesn't feel like an average horror movie, but very, very strange. Now, one big aspect here is that we're going to be focusing on the character dynamics. How these characters interact and how they treat each other is what's really going to be bending this story. This place being called the coop, of course, also draws a lot of parallels to chicken coops. You know, in a chicken coop, you have chickens that are being locked away at night to be protected from a threat. However, chickens serve a purpose. You know, they lay eggs. This sort of makes you wonder what the purpose of the people here is. There will be, of course, a lot of different themes explored here. One of them being isolation and the effects of that on the human psyche. You know, you have these four characters, all of which have a common goal, yet you already know that they're going to fight each other like crazy. Then, of course, you have the survival aspect. Will they be able to adapt, and how far will they go to survive? That was very much explored in The Ritual. It really looked at if these people could change enough 
to adapt to the forest in order to survive. And one thing that will be very important here is the exploration of how humans behave under pressure. This will be very important at the twist ending, because apparently at one point they will look back at what happened and start thinking about the events a little bit differently and discover new information that way. And of course with Madeline's character being so dominant we see the need for control and order. And then you have Mina who will be asked to trust total strangers. A little bit of background information here, this story will be greatly inspired by Irish folklore, but what does that even mean? Well, from what I understand, it will feature a lot of the natural world, which we already see here. You know, there's a lot of the green forest, and it seems like nature and the outdoors in general will be the biggest threat. Of course, it's going to be the creatures, but they are in the outdoors. Hospitality is apparently also a big theme. You have Mina, who is in a strange location, who meets total strangers in this weird house, and she has to be taken in. And then of course you have these otherworldly beings, which in Irish folklore, you know, you have these banshees and shapeshifters, and that will be explored with these weird creatures as well. And the movie will not just have the supernatural aspect, but also the psychological fear. You know, the character's perspective and how they perceive the events will play a big role. And this very much seems like an M. Night Shyamalan movie, probably being closest to The Village. Now, M. Night Shyamalan movies always have these very big twists, bigger than the Saw movies. And that, of course, started with The Sixth Sense, where at the end you find out that the main character has been dead the entire time, which, of course, very quickly became known as, like, one of the biggest plot twists. The village was even more messed up, where at the end you find out that even though this looks like it's a period piece drama, these people are actually existing in the regular, normal, modern world, and they're just hiding away in this forest from the rest of the population. The monsters don't even exist, and they're just these costumes that some people wear to keep the others in order. But there is, of course, a challenge that this movie faces, and that is that the book seems to hinge a lot on the twist. It gets a lot of good reviews, and people say that it's well written and all of that, but a lot of people write that it was really the twist that made this story, and that can be kind of dangerous. But I am very interested in finding out what is going on here, because a lot of people said that this twist literally left them speechless, which, I mean, coming from a book is saying quite a lot, because books typically don't have that sort of visceral effect. But I'm very curious to see if the horror from the book translates well into a movie. You know, horror is done very differently in books than movies. Books can, in detail, look at a character's feelings, or just at, like, their state of being, which a movie can't really do that. A movie needs something to point a camera at, and they're very visual in nature. And a written story can just focus on describing, I mean, basically anything a lot more. One example of this is House of Leaves, which a lot of people say is the scariest book they've ever read, but it just doesn't really translate that well into a movie, because the cosmic horror in the book just doesn't really work when you try putting it into something tangible on a screen. Now, this forest will, of course, be one of the biggest sources of the unanswered questions. One quick look at the blurb of the book, and it says that this forest isn't charted on any map. And that's what I believe we get at the beginning of the story here. Mina doesn't realize what this forest is, and it doesn't seem like a big threat from the outside. And it's only once she's inside that it seems to get this supernatural property of being like, ever expanding and she can no longer get out. I mean, if there's nothing supernatural to this, I would wonder like why she doesn't just, you know, follow the road back out the way she came from. And of course, I want to know if you guys saw the trailer and what your thoughts were. Does this seem interesting to you or is it too much off the wall? As always, I hope you liked it and that I get to see you in the next video. Bye guys.